Hey there friends and welcome back to my third episode of Timber Town. I'm Icon and today we're gonna play some more Good Company and I'm not quite 100% uh, sure where today's episode will take me because, well, there are a few things that need to be done. We need to increase our, um, our efficiency work table wise and at the same time I feel like it's uh, time to research more advanced pieces of uh, for machines in general and I can't even decide where to head next <laughs> that's a little bit of a problem but that's actually a good thing so my next big goal here that I got uh, my mind set upon is uh, discovering electronics because I want to be able to have these three workbenches ASAP because I feel like that's just uh, very good to have them. Meanwhile, my business is making profit. Let's give it, give it uh, one week of uh, another forward time. Last week we even uh, cashed in two grand, so that's uh, giving me hope, you know. <laughs> and I really like all the changes that have been made between the last version and this one, because, uh, well, I feel like the game now feels a lot less stressful. And um, at the same time, I feel I, I don't even know where to head first, and that's that's where I feel like we're we're seeing a solid game design. All right, so these two uh, complexes of my factory are working independently very well. So let's see, company goals: increase company net worth by twenty grand. Since I won't be building stuff right now, that's a little bit harder. And uh, well. Across the time of 16 days, we transported 242 times 4 means we're gonna be good with that goal. But I feel like craft two, 500 batches of components, we definitely will do that. Wait a sec, these have passive effects even? Cool! Like, really cool. I, I, I really like that uh, whole new goal system and such. It really uh, deepens the game in a very, very uh, off awesome way. So, let's see. Last episode, we researched the beepers. We could now upgrade uh, them to better set to better speakers, better display technologies, enhanced battery cells. That's completely different products. Small register banks. I think the small register bank sounds exactly like the next piece of tech that I want to have because um, we could upgrade our items with that, like uh, our calculators. Wait a sec. My calculators don't need memory banks? I highly doubt that somehow. Okay. Strange. So, well, I still haven't fully figured out how this uh, market progression system is uh, meant to be used. Mainly because uh, I am also a little bit uh, shy of using that. The last time when I played this game, it, uh, the market progression was always upon you. So, you were actually trying to keep up with the uh, market progression pace. They turned that off and I really enjoy that, but at the same time now I'm uh, insecure, will be, we, will we be uh, good? You know what, I'm just gonna um, fast forward here until we reached our next company goal because uh, I thought net worth, well okay, net worth of course uh, increases also with my balance, The Okay, we're gonna be fine. So I'm gonna pause, unpause here for a moment until we hit that goal because there's really not much to do. See you in a minute. All right, back in game. So we completed that business goal and now I got my success points that I wanted. So we're gonna be, uh... ah, I it's complete and it, uh... Doesn't leave my queue. <laughs> so, right click to dismiss. Passive effects of completed goals will be active once the deadline is reached. So, um, I see. So, I am not 
forced to, f to choose a new one. So this will be uh, moved out of the box once the deadline has been hit. I see. Okay, but uh, most importantly now, we're able to unlock these wonderful items. So I'm now able to revolutionize my whole production chain, you know? So we're gonna be needing less tinker tables than before, which is really good. But I hope that everything will uh, turn out fine and not explode into my face. So let's wait until one week has been uh, done. And then these tables are quite costly. So uh, what does my robot friend to uh, want to tell me? We have a strong output of beepers. Yeah, great. <laughs> I know that we're uh, slightly overproducing the beepers. So there, one upgrade to upgrade and now we should be able to uh, dismantle this one because they these have double the output so I hope I'm right about that I'm really not sure if I'm uh, not kneecapping myself right now but uh, if I don't try I'll never know you know so, I don't know, can we take down that tinker table? So this guy here produces uh, at the double, um, yeah, it should be, one table should be enough. All right, so we got this now upgraded. So I won't be upgrading my whole company at once. So, you guys, I'm sorry, but you're fired. I'm not paying idle employees here. I'm gonna rehire you in a month or two. Don't worry. Feels bad, doesn't it? So, let's check out the first week of um, the new production here. I don't want to overstress this because, like I said, it costs me money too. upgrade these places but uh, <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned I don't see any drawback except for five employees less to pay and the same amount of workload being uh, being done in the same time awesome so uh, I'd say this could be a full success so let's wait for the evaluation at the end of the week I'm playing this rather slowly I hope you guys don't mind I'm uh, exploring this place at, at this game at a uh, rather leisure pace because I really want to learn you know so uh, our revenue went up yeah our costs went down look at that total costs went down a lot okay well it's maybe not representative because uh, these were the upgrade costs but well Let's see. Right now we also research logic circuits because I wanted to uh, see what we're going to be able to do there. Okay, so um, what's happening here? We're overproducing like crazy. So uh, let's see. One of those bad boys produces one beeper in 0.58 days. So... Uh, one table will be more than we need. So, go away you. So, now, two batteries we need per cycle. These produce one battery in 0.58 days. We're gonna need two in 1.2 days. We're overproducing here as well. Awesome. So, it goes without saying. So same procedure here, bang, and upgrading this. Okay, so can I multi-select those poor sorts? No, can't. But I can sort them by state, don't I? I'm sorry. We'll meet each other soon. Just want to cut down my uh, my expenses here as hard as I can because you know 
those tinker tables are nice and dandy, but you really want to amp uh, up the product. You want to exchange them as soon as possible because I personally feel like they're a nightmare. Um, this is so much more effective now in terms of uh, room management compared to these uh, tons of tables which uh, created nightmarish logistic uh, logistics uh, circumstances. So I feel like that's a severe upgrade. But uh, talking about upgrades, let's upgrade our markets a bit. What do you, what do you mean? Uh, what do you think about that? God. Sometimes my thoughts just uh, go jigamaru. Talking and gaming is harder than it looks. So we will research new logic circuits and uh, those re register banks. Well, they provide data storage. I really thought that a calculator might use data storage, but I guess I was wrong. But um, how about us discovering a new market of pocket computers? Oh, I have not, not enough uh, of those yet. So mandatory features, display fidelity and processing power. So with the next research completed, we're going to you know, receive those discovery points. My next uh, goal will be done too. Very good. We're getting there. And we're also nailing down these goals here. Oh, I would be uh, receiving success points here too. Nice. Okay. So success points are are being flung at us from all kinds of directions, I see. Okay, so I want to let one week uh, cycle through where we produce under our new circumstances. I really like that. Efficiency is awesome. So, let's see. How much profit will we net in this week? Even a little bit more. 3.3 grand. I'm really happy with that. So... Let's see. I'd say I really want to um, consider a new real estate here. So, 30k though. Holy moly. We're so poor! I felt rich for a moment. And I looked up the prices here. Jeez. Okay. So turns out uh, letting the game just run is a good idea because we need money like crazy. So how about this little fella here? Um, 30k. So, well, no delivery areas, but that's uh, something you can solve logistically. So, no delivery area. Yay! So with the logic circuits uh, researched now, let's uh, check out what to research next though. Don't want to go for uh, more complicated things like that. How about a monophone speaker? So I'm able to upgrade my cassette recorders. I feel like that's a good thing. So game devices, pocket computers. Oh, that's a tough choice. Uh, well, I want to go for the game devices. Pocket computers were already a thing in the last version I played. And I feel like I want to go for something uh, more new something i didn't do yet so game devices they have three features which are expected from us let's go i love this game i was really insecure if this game would go into a way which i could enjoy or not when we were still at the early, um at an earlier phase of the game but now i'm totally convinced so plastic case we're gonna do a plastic cased one this time not a simple cased one so, yay, chill chill winner 9000, I like that, sounds like me, doesn't it? So, let's keep with the Thunder Emerald thingy. So, I really look forward to the more complicated products, because uh, this is all cool now, but uh, I think once you get deeper into the game, it's gonna be a lot more fun too. So, we need sound fidelity. Well, let's over overachieve a bit here. Low power supplies. Okay. Let's see. A battery. St one battery stack will be exactly all we need. And now display fidelity. 
So one LED matrix would be enough, but I'll, I think I'm gonna, well, overachieving is, isn't that uh, important here at all. Oh, oh, it is actually. Market appeal does uh, go down crazy. Awesome, they really changed a lot of things here. So yeah, well, the monophone speaker is definitely, would be definitely cool to have already, but we're gonna add that into the next version of the uh, item. So let's punch in a LED matrix and uh, this thing is too fragile. No! So we're only achieving a 4.7, I'd say. Let's see. Okay, we need more. Uh, we need more modern parts, I'd say. Or we need to re research uh, modificators, but not yet. Okay, now we got this. One point two five days of assembly time for the chill winner. So let's see. I hope I'll be able to fit this in here, but I'm. Uh, actually quite positive so we're gonna build first up I want to have a new career palette oh seems like I need to expand the zone because I want to have a complete career palette for the product you know so there we go So, here the chill winners will be sold. Yeah, I know we're missing supplies. Don't you say. Alright. Now, let's start with the assembly table again. I really like to start with the assembly tables first because they give me an overview, but uh, here. What's still to do? So chill winner we're gonna need this time we're gonna need four work tables well okay yeah four different ones so it's actually a good idea to go for um, a second assembly bench here because I will be overproducing these parts otherwise it's really good so let's go um, electronics workbench um, gonna be needing two of those because I will be um, producing on two sides and if I'm not calculating wrongly here I would be running out of parts if I would do it otherwise so then battery stacks we're gonna do these at the chemistry table all right here we go then LED matrix being done at another chemistry table I hope I'm not running out of money here and then we're gonna need a basic workbench for the casings. Let's put it down here. Okay, now we need shelves. Let's see. Corner shelves. No, they would be too hindering here. So, I need a little bit more vision here, so I'm going to put down two here, and uh, well, things are uh, really growing a little bit narrow here, but uh, well. Okay, one more assembly table and then we should be good to go. I hope this will fit in here. All right. And now, I told you guys I'm going to rehire you. I hope I'm going to re, I wish I would be re uh, able to rehire those folks right away. Okay then, so we're gonna need Oh, I'll need another table to craft, or no, I don't need another table to craft electronic components at. I've got all the stuff I need, don't I? Simple cases land now here? 
Why? Logistics organization. Wonderful. So I'm pretty sure that this zone will now require another logistics employee. At least one. So let's see. They're all waiting for their plastic parts here. Partially they're uh, being busy already. But uh, let's see. You're tiered to this uh, electronics workbench. Here, that's her workplace. So let's check it out. She's trying to take her plastic parts from here. But these guys are deploying their plastic parts only to here. But that's now connected to this place. So, uh... I think we don't have enough plastic parts for this uh, production chain now. So I think a basic workbench and a chemistry table extra could be uh, necessary. Yeah, let's do this. So, chemistry and basic workbench. I'm not shy of uh, overproducing here, because um, it doesn't hurt to overproduce at this point. We're gonna use those parts uh, later somewhere else, it's no problem. But, oh my god, I'm out of money. <gasps> I'm spending and spending and spending and not realizing how much money is uh, flowing out of my pockets here. But, uh, we're gonna be fine. So, let's see. I forgot to uh, configure the LED matrixes. Oh my god, that's what's happening here. Okay. We're gonna be fine, though. We're gonna be fine. There's a shortage of electronic parts now, so... Uh... Oh, I haven't ordered these yet. Oh my god. We're all gonna die. I, I hope we're not, but... uh. Maybe I should have saved up more money before I did that. And why are these parts landing here? Okay. But now the LED matrixes are being done, so... There's light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, that was a silly mistake. Brutal. Brutal one, but now uh, everything's running. Okay. So I hope I won't be uh, be killed bad because of that. 170 days to uh, run out of bankruptcy. Okay. Okay. I'm not worried anymore now. So let's wait for the first week of this production to uh, kick in. And uh, I have the slight feeling that everything should be fine now. So this place is too uh, crowded at this point. I can already tell that uh, we're suffering a uh, logistics jam because of that. But yeah, well. If I had the money to do so as I uh, please, I actually would have al al already uh, bought another, um, another place to get things done. But here we go, 3.3 grand, boom. I knew it would work, but um, I'm a little bit uh, inept yet um, to set up things um, correctly, so... Company goals available. Oh, we're... Ah, uh, okay. We're here. Let's pause the game, I already lost four days. So, produce 300 calculators. I produce 7 per day on average. Times 90? That's uh, way more than I need, so... That's gonna be no problem. Sell 250 cassette players. Also, no problem at all. So, we already got company-wide analysis speed, picking speed, equipment costs. I really like that. This feels like level-ups. This is cool. This is really uh, one of the greatest um, extra features I've noticed so far in the, in the newest versions of the game. I don't know, I think they added this uh, a longer time ago, but I decided to wait a little bit longer back when I noticed that up update, and um, 
really happy to see how good the automatic um, system now is working too. Somebody is uh, missing their battery stacks. Do we need another table of battery stacks, maybe? Or is just the logistics horrible? You never know, you know. Bang. Ah, oh, yeah, we're back in the green. Seriously, why do these uh, parts land here? But, well, I don't argue with the automatic product placement here, honestly. I'm just happy it works, you know. So, um... Okay. Your company's bankrupt. No, we're not bankrupt. You're making this up! Hey, I'm back at 37 employees. That's exactly the number I had before the big firing action. All makes sense now. So... I'm not gonna go for market progressions in this episode because I feel like, um... We're right now at a good spot to um, leave this episode here a little bit on on a chill raid. So here, this guy Junko Wagner is lacking battery stacks. Strong output of plastic parts, I know. So uh, for some reason, my battery stack production is not enough. Here to uh, satisfy the chill winners, which is kind of like crazy, and I uh, I don't know why that's happening. So let's uh, check this out. So uh, they are taking their items from here and from there, and then they're placing down their battery stacks in here. Okay. Let's check this out. I want to watch this table work for a moment to see if I really need a new table or if I just need to uh, reorganize things here a little bit. But it looks like... There's, this... There's a very short um, moment of beepers not being available, but... Uh... So, so, it really looks like there's just not enough product there, and uh, yeah, it's always one of them uh, waiting for this table's production to be completed, so I'll rather add another one once I'm out of the red numbers though, because this really drops my production. Let's see. Yeah, we only produced four game devices because of that, so I really need to build a new table for the battery stacks. Even though I shouldn't be needing that, in my opinion. It doesn't really make sense, but I think uh, it's because of the horrible logistics situation here. Because seriously, this is such a cramped place right now, I'm not surprised at all that things are not really working out here so battery stacks now land in in, in this shelf here um seriously guys i hope this uh so that actually didn't help at all. That's uh, unfortunate because I really don't want to um, go for uh, an automatic to, to turn off the automatic configuration here but uh, this thing here is just not working out as it should. Like, uh, these guys get connected to here. Wait a sec. So, uh, 
<sighs> I don't know. I'm not convinced of the work of my automatic um, configuration thingy here. Because this logistics here just doesn't happen, and that's a problem. I mean, we're running here four people already. So... I can't imagine that this would work out like that, but uh, at the same time, I'm not able to uh, tell this worker override storage. Here you can override the preferred storage used by this workspace. So, ah! <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> cool. So, the devs have put in a hotfix uh, for that problem. Praise the devs, honestly. Because, um,. Before they did that little thing in here, I would have had no chance but to disable automatic configuration because of one tiny thing the uh, AI didn't configure correctly. Kudos for that, I like that. So, okay. And for today's episode. Next episode we're gonna modernize our first product. I'm looking forward to that and uh, let's let a week run here safely. Ah, oh, that's so cool to uh, that I can actually um, configure a little bit in the automatic setup. That helps so much. That truly, truly helps so much. Look at them go. They're now producing like crazy, but that's also because of the overproduction I put in there. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Drop me a comment down below. Leave a like, leave a subscribe. As usually, I'd be very, very happy about your support. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.